Hey, John, uh, tonight, uh, or rather a day that will be remembered for a long time by Hoopers in the state of Maine. So let's tournament. Start out double A South boys semifinal number one Thornton number four Bon Eagle Scotts won the last time they played TA up late Brant Abbott the reverse 45 43 game Will Davies comes back the other way he was unstoppable it's a four point TA lead then Josh Warren big three Bon Eagle down one they'd actually take the lead and with 12 seconds left who's Thornton gonna go to Davies muscling in basket and one they go up 50 to 48 but there's time left for Bonnie Eagle off the miss Elliot Bouchard the put back and one Scott's go up 51 50 with 1.3 seconds left TA needs a miracle the long inbounds to Davies the catch the release and how about that the improbable game winner another look oh did he beat the buzzer Thornton 52 51 a game that will be remembered for a long time the other half of that bracket Number six, Scarborough. Number two, South Portland. South Portland pouring it on in the second half. D'Angelo Alston with the basket inside to keep it close, but then Jalen Jackson goes to work. He had 14. Jackson on the break, the no look to Ben Smith for the lay in. South Portland just starts to run and gun. Jaden Kim hits Nafis Padgett. Look out below! And they pour it on. Kim in transition. 63 37 South Portland. They'll have Thornton tomorrow night. Those teams meeting up again in the regional final. Double A North semifinals. Number three, Lewiston, and number two, Portland. Packed at the Cross Insurance Arena earlier. Look out on, or rather, a great look on the outlet. Jabril Holloman to Michael Click. Blue Devils led by two at the break. Portland's Kevin Rugabirwa was huge in this one. The feed inside to Patia Donato. He had 10. Portland up 34 33 after three. Rugabirwa then the steal. He had 15. Portland up three. Later on, just over a minute to go. Bigelow, the three for Lewiston. We're tied at 41. But with under a minute left, Remy Jowani left the three, hits the three, and Portland goes on for the 46 to 40 win to move on. Top seed Oxford Hills taking on Chevrolet. What a battle this was. Vikings trailed at the half, and Tegan Pelletier stepping up. Playoff Pelletier hitting the three. Oxford Hills up eight after three. Silvana Ismail, the jumper. He had 24 with a foul out late. Then Leo McNabb, he's trying to lead the team on a comeback. Ties it up at 58 with a basket and the foul. Vikings answer. Eli Soren gives him the lead. And then in the closing seconds, Pelletier, who had 27, the exclamation point. Chevers falls, Oxford Hills 66-60, tempers would flare after the buzzer with some unsportsmanlike behavior, but Oxford Hills moving on to face Portland tomorrow. All right, the A South Championship, number three, Marshwood, and number one, Falmouth for the second straight year. Marshwood beat Falmouth during the regular season, but this time around, Falmouth picking apart the 2-3. Judd Armstrong, the turning MVP, getting inside. Peyton Mitchell threading the needle to Billy Burks. Falmouth pulling away in the third. Lucas Dilworth, the muscle move inside, and one. 40 to 31 Falmouth. They move on to the regional championship, or rather to the state championship. Who would they play? How about the Northern A Boys final? Top seed of Brewer and Skowhegan. Skowhegan beat Brewer the last time they played. Some bad blood at the end of this one. And Brewer came out to put a hurt on. Brady Saunders, the jumper. He won the tournament MVP. Then Brock Flag, the basket and one. Later, Flag underneath to Cameron Hughes. It was all Witch Project. 70 to 33, they faced Falmouth Friday night. 8.45 in Augusta in the A Championship game. A South Girls Championship. The only Class A team to beat Brunswick this year was Gray. The team's matching up this year. End of the first quarter, Brunswick Sophia Morin at the horn. She had 15. Then sister Alexis inside. Brunswick in control early on. In the third, Morin. Alexis Morin, who was the tourney MVP, the sweet move. Other corner, Maddie Warner gets to the paint. 45-23, Brunswick is your A South champion. They move on to the state final. Who will they face? Northern A girls final. Unbeaten Gardner taking on the Lawrence. Great start for the Bulldogs. Hope Bouchard to the hoop. Lawrence by seven after one. In the second quarter, Bouchard, the hoop, and the foul. She led Lawrence with 26. She is a primetime player. Bulldogs up 13. Here comes the Tiger comeback. Savannah Brown for the hoop and the foul. She had nine. Then Lizzie Gruber inside for two of her 26. They're down six. But the other way, Bouchard. Finds Brianna Pullen, who had 15, and Lawrence stuns Gardner 61-54 to move to the state final to face Brunswick next Friday night in Augusta. All right, B South boys, number one Oceanside, number two Yarmouth in an instant classic. Oceanside junior Carter Galley had a first half for the ages, the nasty move at the foul line. Then the NBA range three. He had 22 in the first half. Yarmouth trailed by 17. But Stevie Walsh takes over in the second half, the sprawling hoop and one. Then with under 15 left, down five. Here comes Yarmouth. Walsh, the NBA three. They're down two. 
Yarmouth would go to the line with six seconds left. Evan Ham makes them both. We're going to overtime. In overtime, Walsh again had 24 of his 32 after the break. Yarmouth up one. But a big play by Alex Collins on the glass. The follow up and one. And Oceanside takes it in overtime 71 67, going to the state title game for the second time in school history. All right, the girls' B final. Number two, Spruce Mountain of Jay Livermore versus Oceanside of Rockland. Second half, close game. The steal by Jaden Pingree to Jasmine Pingree. And one, Spruce up 25-21 on the unbeaten Mariners. Then Aubrey Kachovic, Kachinovic drains the three to end the third. Then Kanovic, another three. She was on fire. Emily Sykes evens it up early in the fourth from Oceanside. But Kanovic responds. She had 20, hits another three. The Kanovic wins the loose ball and scoops it up and goes in for the lay-in. 56-47, Spruce Mountain ends Oceanside's 53-game winning streak, and they are going to the state final. Hey, let's go back to Augusta. Southern Sea Girls, top seed at NYA, defending state champ Halldale. Josie, Harper, Cunningham, count it. The three, Panthers up 11 after three. Bulldogs rally in the fourth. Hayden Bedore for three. They lead, the lead cut to four, but the Panthers respond. Ella Jaguar, big game off the bench. Remember, this is an NYA team playing without their star, Angel Huntsman. And those other players responding. Charlotte Harper Cunningham, the three, 47-39. NYA going to the regional final. The other regional final, a regional semifinal, featuring Old Orchard and Kent Hill. Abby Roy to Tessa Ferguson for three. Old Orchard up 17 to four after a quarter. Then it was the Elise McNair show. Have yourself a tournament. She drives for the basket. And then Summer St. Louis ahead to McNair. McNair, the three, that is. And then McNair. Doing it all, 32 points, 13 rebounds, 5 assists, 59, 43 Old Orchard. They'll face NYA tomorrow in the regional final. All right, Southern Sea Boys defending state champ Dirigo and Mount Abram. Back and forth game. Charlie Houghton, what are you going to do with him? Knocks down the jumper. He had 27. Dirigo up 12 in the first. Tucker Plouffe led the Mount Abram comeback. He had 16. Roadrunners were up six after three. Dirigo takes over in the fourth. Dakota Tompkins, the hoop and the foul. He had 22. Then Trenton Hutchinson takes it to the hole for the lay-in. 71-63. Dirigo's moving to the regional final. Who will they face? Second-seeded Monmouth taking on six-seeded Karabek. Mustangs build the lead in the third. Gavin Gregor, the steal ahead to Sammy Calder. He had 19. Then Gregor closes out the quarter with the jumper. Monmouth up eight after three. Karabek trying to rally. Luke Carey, what a tournament he had. The off-balance jumper. But the other way, Gregor finds the cutting. Owen Harding and Monmouth holds off the run. 46-34. They'll face Dirigo in a regional final rematch from last year, won by Dirigo. It shapes up to be a very, very good day of basketball tomorrow. Can't wait to do it. We'll have highlights at 6 and 11 for you tomorrow night.